Somebody ought to run. I said, somebody ought to run. Somebody ought to got something to tell. Pray with me this afternoon. Father, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank you. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you for yet another opportunity that we might break the bread of life. We pray now, God, that you will speak to us. And out of the volume of your book, we'll love you forever and praise you. In Jesus' name, come on, say amen. Look at somebody and say, it's word time. with us to the gospel according to John chapter 2. John chapter 2. Amen. Stand with us. Amen. John chapter 2. Amen. John chapter 2, beginning with verse number 18. If you have it, you can say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. We know it. Amen. Hear ye the word of the Lord as it is written. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign shewest thou unto us? Seeing that thou doest these things. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. But therefore he was risen from the dead. Catch this now. His disciples remembered that he had said this unto them. And this is the part that I want to pull from. And they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. They believed the scripture and they believed the word believed the scripture and they believed the word look at your neighbor and just say neighbor, neighbor. oh neighbor, oh, neighbor. Whatever, you do, whatever you do believe, believe the, word. the word believe the word you may take your seats baby. His presence. I want to preach from a subject today entitled Believe the Word. We have coined a phrase here at Rivers of Life believing and flowing. This has become our church motto and, in many times, our hope and our proclamation. We are a believing and flowing type of church. We believe in the power of God. And we strive to flow in that same power. We stand believing in the oneness of God. And together we do kingdom work in that spirit of oneness. Because we are a believing, y'all gotta walk with me, believing and flowing type of ministry. Amen. We believe that Jesus left us the tools to flow uh -huh, and to do greater works numerically than he would ever do. Amen. So in our humblest hand and plea, we are trying to be believers, yes. but also people that flow in what we believe. Yes. Too many people believe but they do not have any flow. Then there are individuals who are flowing and have no belief. However, we must couple it together. For faith without works is dead being alone. In other words, you cannot have belief. Amen. And that belief does not unction 
oxidize you to flow in the spirit of God. You must understand that, 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 that God, amen, caused or allowed you to be sick so that you would believe him for healing. Amen. But also that you would bring healing to somebody else. Yeah. You must understand that, that, that God, amen, wants you to believe him for breakthroughs amen. so that you can flow and bring blessings to somebody else. Amen. God wants you to believe him for personal growth yes. so that you can help somebody else grow in the spirit of our God. Yes. For God is requiring of us first to believe. Yes. For the Bible said he that cometh to God must first believe that God is. Yes. And after you believe, he said, then you can find out that he's a reward yes. to them that would diligently seek him. You must understand today that, 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 that your belief in God, and, and, and if I get excited off this one point, y'all just excuse me, but, but you have to understand that your belief in God should ignite something inside of you. Good God of mercy, you, you ought to have such kind of faith and such belief, amen, down on the inside that even when trouble comes and even when trial come your way because you believe Hallelujah. you are encouraged to go on amen you, you, you should have such a belief glory to God that, that, that sets your soul on fire you, you should have such a belief that, that your spirit is oxidized by your faith Am I talking to anybody? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. You, you catch this. You, you got to have an inward belief that causes an outward explosion. Good God. Somebody missed everything I just dropped. You got to have an inward belief that causes an outward explosion. In other words, you got to have something working on the inside. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Something on the inside. Work it on the outside. Oh, what a change. For, 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 for Jesus said, catch this, he that believeth on me, he that hath put trust in me, he that has positioned his faith in me, he, glory to God, hallelujah, he, a man that has put total reliance and dependence on me. He that believeth me kept this as the scriptures have said. Amen. Amen. He says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. In other words, God said, nothing will flow until you believe. Oh, I wish I had a witness up in here. He said, nothing takes a hold and begins to expand in the earth until you first believe on the inside. Yeah. Hey, God, you got to understand. Amen. He says, once you believe, your belief will cause something to flow out of your belly. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. It's not until you believe in the Holy Ghost that the Holy Ghost begins to flow out of who you are. You got to believe on me. So, 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 but catch this, catch this. He that believeth on me as the scripture. See, you just can't believe any old kind of thing. You, you, you just can't believe what folk tell you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You, you, you can't believe every preacher that stands behind the desk. He said, you got to believe me as the scripture. To believe God's word. Yeah. You got to believe what God's word says about it. Yeah. Amen. You, the doctor might say you're sick. So what? Yeah. He is not speaking what the scripture said. Yeah. The scripture said by his truck. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had somebody to help me in here. You got to believe what the scripture said. Yeah. Amen. The enemy might say you're out for the count. It's over. I done did away with you. But that's not what the scripture said. The scripture said no weapon formed against me. Shout. Just somebody believe the word. Believe the word. Believe the word. Catch this. Catch this. Catch this. I, 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 I got to give it to you.
you. I got to give it to you. This is why, glory to God, hallelujah, when, 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 when God, when Jesus was admonishing and correcting the church of that age of minor, this is why he said in the book of Revelation, let he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. In other words, he understood, amen, that you got to have an ear for the Spirit. Too many of us got an ear for gossip and not an ear can I preach here? Yeah, yeah, too many of us have an ear for CNN and, and WRL, but we don't have an ear for the Spirit. But if you don't believe the Word and trust the Word and put your confidence in the Word, you got to have an ear that's going to hear what the Spirit. Catch this. You got to hear what the Spirit is going to say to the church. You can't hear nobody's opinion. You got to hear what the Spirit is going to say to the church. You, amen. You know a spirit-filled word because when you leave the house of God, something oxidizes you and something propels you and pushes you a little bit closer to where you want to be. Why? Because the Spirit was speaking to your inner being. Scripture say, how can they believe in whom they have not heard? And how can they hear say they have a preacher? And how can he preach say he be sent? You got to understand something. First of all, if you don't believe, you got to hear. For faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But then he says, if you go here, then you got to hear who? The preacher. And you're not a preacher just because you wear a collar. You're not a preacher just because you stand behind the desk. You're not a preacher just because you have a title. You can only proclaim to be a preacher when you got a word. Touch your neighbor and say, believe the word. Let he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. One of the problems, amen, in the present day church, amen, is that our spirits are talking and God ain't. Come on, come on. Well, you got to understand. He says, let him hear what the Spirit is going to say to the church. What are you trying to say, Pastor? I'm trying to get you to understand that if it's God's spirit talking, it's going to align with the word of God. Because the Bible said that God's spirit would only testify of Jesus Christ. He's not going to tell you to do something that's out of alignment with the word of God. He's not going to tell you to walk in something and live in something and do something that's contrary to what's already written in the scripture. Tell them what it is. Tell them what it is. You gotta understand. I understand what Jesus meant now. That man shall not live. Y'all gonna walk with me? I, 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 I'm understanding it now. I understand it now that, 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 that steak might take me through the evening, and chicken might take me through the afternoon. Greeks, eggs, and bacon might take me through the morning. Hallelujah, glory to God. But it won't take me through life. The only thing that's going to take me through life is every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. The only thing that's going to help me make it through the vicissitudes of life is the word of God. Because his word is a lamp unto my feet and is a light. Tell somebody the word is pushing me through. Good God on mercy, the word is pushing me through. The word is pushing me through. When I get down, I'm so glad that I can find a place in the word of God. Amen. When my spirit is overwhelmed, I'm so glad that I found safety in the word of God. Grandmama said in his word, I found a hiding place. I wish there was a people in here that would proclaim to your neighbor the word. I got weak, Mother McQueen, but his word pushed me through. Felt like giving up, but his word pushed me through. 
Cain looked at him and said, How can you raise this structure? Mm -hmm. It took us 46 years <laughs> to build this structure. And you're going to lay a foundation? Put the windows back in place? You're going to make it beautiful in three days? But see what they didn't understand was that this house yeah. is not a real house. The real house is in your heart. And what you don't understand is that there's so many folk trying to beautify this house but haven't taken the time. Paul said, Know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost? Can I do it? Because the how is not important. The when is important. The Bible says, now here, here John is speaking present tense, but he fast forwards in a present moment. Because he says to them, Amen. Jesus has talked. But then John tells us something that happened after the resurrection in this same scripture. It says to us that when Jesus rose from the dead, they believed the scriptures and his word. Wait a minute. Hold on. So it took them after he got up to believe what he said. Y'all walking with me? Sometimes. That's how life happens to us. We don't believe it until we can see it. Y'all walking with me? And that reminds me, at least, it reminds me, amen, of doubting Thomas. Thomas said, I'm not going to believe saying I see the nail prints in his head. I'm not going to believe until I can thrust my hand in his side. Here comes Jesus with his good self. Stops by Thomas and said, Thomas, thrust your hand in my side. Put your hand in the nail print. And in that moment, Thomas believed. But catch this. Jesus said, it's a good thing that you believe because you see all oh, the blessed are they. He said it's a greater blessing for them to believe and have not seen. I want to let somebody know that when you believe his word and you've never seen his face, God will do wonders that eyes have not seen. The Bible says that when he got up, they believed. I need you to see this. The scriptures and the word. So you mean to tell me that the scriptures and the spoken word of God are not the same thing? Oh. Because sometimes. God will speak to you out of the scriptures. Yeah. Yeah. But then sometimes right. when your pillow is filled with tears yeah. and you cannot see your way through, yeah. sometimes God will speak yeah. into your spirit that everything is going to be okay. You got to understand that you got to believe the scriptures, but don't just stop at the scripture. If God spoke a word into your spirit,
God. You got to believe. Yes. God's word. Yes. God told me, don't you let that promise die because it's not in the scriptures. You believe my word. Yes. I told you you're going to be healed. Yes. You better believe you're going to be healed. I told you you're going to be on top. You better believe you're going to be on top. I told you you're going to be the head. You better not let them tell you you're the tail. You got to believe. He 
said, because if you believe on me, as the scriptures have said, he said, there's a promise to believe. Yes, sir. Out your way. What you mean out of my belt? When you get to the house of God and the way of the world is on your shoulders. He says if you believe I'll call something inside of you to change your surrounding around you. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. He says believe. believe. The amazing thing about this scripture as I was reading is that Jesus said or John records rather that after the resurrection they believed not only what Jesus said about destroying the temple but they also went back and believed everything that Isaiah had to say come on come on now Isaiah said who had believed our report yeah. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Yeah. He grew up as a tender plant. Right. Yeah. As a root out of dry ground. There was no beauty that we should desire him. No comeliness. He was stricken. Yes. Yes, sir. Surely he had borne our griefs yes. and carried our sorrow. Yes. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Yes. But he was wounded. Yes. For our transgression, bruised for our iniquities, chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. So all we like sheep have gone astray, turned to our own way. But the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was carried as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shearers is done, yet he opened not his mouth. Today you got to believe the word. His word is forever settled in heaven. The Bible is right. And anybody in opposition to the Bible is wrong. Because that's his word. Today, the those of the church are open. Maybe there's one today that doesn't know Jesus. Maybe you want to give your life to the Lord. I need one. I need one. I need it.
Father, in the name of Jesus. We are here as believers of Jesus Christ. Believers of your word. Believers of your power. Believers of your person. We believe it. Stand up. Trust it. Father, when we have nothing else, we find solace and peace in the word of God. So God, we ask that as life is coming, as life will present us with new issues, we are going to have to pray like the father who had the sick son. Lord, help our unbelief. Help us, God, to believe your word. Trust your word. Lean and depend on it. It is in the matchless name of Jesus we pray. And everyone say amen. amen. Come on, give him praise if you believe this word. Come on, give him praise if you believe this word. Come on, come on, come on, praise him.
word. I believe his word. I believe his word. So my praise, catch this. And we get ready to take an offer and we gonna go. My praise is the down payment to the manifestation of his word. I heard it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna praise him till I see it happen in my life. Come on, put my hands together and bless the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The students are coming at this time. Amen. That we might honor God with our sons. The Bible says, give, and it will be given. This is a time that we give our tithes, and I often bring you all the tithes to the storehouse. That there might be meat in my house and prove me now it will say the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. Amen. Those of you, amen, that are watching us online, if you'd like to give, amen, that number is there. Amen. You can take your gift of any amount. Give. Amen. It's going to ask you for your visa card. Amen. Or your master, whatever you would like to give on. Amen. It's going to ask you that. Prompt you with a couple questions. Amen. But you can give in the name of the Lord. If this Hallelujah. message has blessed you, if this service has blessed you today, give back to God what He's so richly given to you that we might be able to continue the word of the Lord and kingdom work. Amen. With your gift in your hand, pray with me. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you right now for what you've done for us today. How you blessed us. We ask now, God, that you would bless our substance. Bless God what we are bringing to you. Bless the hands that will give and bless the hands that will receive. In the matchless name of Jesus we pray. Amen. If everyone will stand, we're going to begin with my left, your right, and the rear. If you've already given, amen. If you've already given, it's okay. Amen. We just want to give everybody else an opportunity to give. We're going to begin with the left at this time. Somebody greet somebody. Let them know I believe his word. 